Hey guys, this is Kang Skuns. Welcome back to another episode of F1 My Team Career Mode. We're here in review ring for episode 5. Uh, last episode, we take care of everything uh, HQ wise, so just going straight into a qualifying. So, here we have the start of qualifying lap, crossing the line. We're on our way into turn one, which is hard braking zone. We'll go into our second DRS zone. It's a long straight up. We just passed turn two. We're on to turn three, another hard braking zone to the right. A bit of a bump across the apex. Now we turn on our DRS for the third time. We're no more for the rest of the lap. Breaking into turn four of the hard braking zone. Very clear overtaking spots in this circuit. Just past turn six. On to turn seven. So sweeping to left and right. That was turn eight. Now on to the final two corners. At turn nine. The just break for a bit. Also, as well as for turn 10, we turn on our DRS, we cross the line, and that's the qualifying lap. We've been able to finish in P8. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Sergio Perez, and Vettel, Carlson, Stroll, Albon, and Esteban Ocon, Gasly, Ricardo, Lando Norris, and Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Daniel Kvyat, and George Russell, Raikkonen, Latifi, Galeel, and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. It's almost time. So the red lights are going on and off to start the Austrian uh, Grand Prix. As you go into turn one, there's a lot of positions being mixed around. Able to get into P5. Just right behind Hamilton. And I think it's Leclerc right beside us. We're able to regulate and get past Hamilton. And now side by side with Perez down into turn four. As we see before, Science had a penalty, so we went up to P7. It seems that we are going into P3, passing Perez into turn 4. And uh, early in the race, uh, it's not a good thing to you know go for a podium, but you know, if we keep racing like this, I think we should. Well, it's better than a points finish. That we got for like the last two races, which is good. With Paris looking on the inside and the final two corners, but we wish to uh, shut that down. And be able to hold P3 in our first lap. And there was an incident uh, with uh, Nicholas Latifi crashing into his teammate George Russell while banging into a house. That was the only incident. Now I'll cut to us in lap 5 and see behind Hamilton past uh, Perez. So now Hamilton is now our problem as we try and hold on to P3 as long as we can. Comparing our car to the Mercedes cars, it's the difference like night and day. On the next lap, it's around the same spot but a bit farther ahead into turn one. He got into the inside but we able to get under throttle faster than him. And another attempt in the next lap. He's trying to go in, looking on the inside at turn nine. But just blocking his path. He can't able to get through. Now on to lap eight. We going to pit the step with Hamilton just passing right before we were entering the pit lane 
hopefully it doesn't equate to uh, him being in front when we uh, go for the undercut but we able to not damage our wing as in the, like in the other races before so it's gonna be only a tire change for us and if we able to get out only at P20 if we're only one of the few ones who are pitting this early as you see Sean Gillier right behind us with a 5 second penalty I wasn't able to find out what has happened with him but as we see we have George Russell in front of us and in order to get, a, get in front of Hamilton we have to get a good outlap with us passing Russell to turn 4 but he went wide went way wide with Russell now we're hitting right side by side into turn 6 able to overtake him again now we're hoping if Hamilton is pitting this lap just hoping that his team is a little bit slow on the pitting so as we can see there's Hamilton on the pit exit and we were able to manage to get a good outlap passing Russell was crucial to making that happen as now the fight continues on for P3 this is it for win, this is for P3 it's me and Hamilton with him side by side against us We're leading our teammate by and we do turn 3 seconds. and we do go a little bit late but with a bump at the apex he still is ahead but we got the DRS he's going to sneak sneak on by and go in for the overtake into turn 4 and managed it very nice overtake for me now we cut ourselves into lap 16 with Hamilton right behind us overtaking us and we able to get the throttle first and putting him back again now crossing into lap 17 second to last lap things are heating up with Leclerc behind us and Hamilton it's almost a three-way fight for P3 this isn't a race win this is for P3 as you almost go three wide into turn three able to in first we see Hamilton got there but we able to do a switch Back. Can we complete this move? Yes, we can. It was very close between us, Hamilton, and Leclerc, as you can see, almost hitting the front wing of Leclerc. But we got the better line off that corner and able to pass him. Hamilton, that is. Now we're on our last lap with Hamilton. Is ahead of us we did have a bit of a spin but it didn't completely spun out which is you know, would, 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 would be embarrassing for us by the way it is he's almost all oh, Hamilton and me going neck and neck just breathing down our necks you see some smoke came out of our engine this car is barely pulling together to try and fight against Hamilton for B3 getting out of breath here as you can see Valtteri bought us winning the race and also Max Verstappen uh, yeah on, in second as you can see second yes, to last corner we see Hamilton and us going to battle into the last we able to shut him off and now we're slowing down with the RMS could we able to get P3 yes we can finally a podium finish but you know a well hard earned one
So that is the end of the race. Uh, Valtteri Bottas won the Austrian Grand Prix with Max Verstappen in second and us in third. And Sean Galil uh, finishing ahead of Nicholas and TV in 21st place. Now in the driver's standings, we see uh, nothing's changed with Lewis. But change below as we jump into fourth and Valtteri Bottas jump into second. And with Sergio Perez, a strong performance, fourth place in the race, and he got up to P7. And for the constructors, nothing has changed, so we managed to stay at P5. And that is the end of the Grand Prix. I think it was, I think it was a good race. I think both as the team as well as entertainment almost a race long battle for P3 with Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc sometimes but yeah the podium finish so next episode we'll be going to Britain for the British Grand Prix at Silverstone if you want to see that make sure you hit the bell button to notify you when that happens and as well like the video and subscribe and with that being said i hope to see you next episode bye